Sir Lyndon flatly denied the allegations and later announced the setting up of a royal commission of inquiry to investigate the drug traffic and clear the government of involvement in it. Mr. Prime Minister. Tell, hold on, hold on. I wasn't talking to him. I was talking to you. Um, I don't have a copy of the report, but oh. if anybody would, Mr. Ross I might. I'm not interested in Mr. Ross. Mr. Ross is a faker. He is known to have conducted fraudulent interviews before. I don't want to deal with Mr. Ross. If he were interviewing me on the show this morning, I would have no objection to it. You are interviewing me, ma'am. And with the greatest respect, have you got a copy of the report? Well, to be perfectly honest, like, the arrangement was that Mr. Ross was to interview you. He was to interview me? Yes. When? Mr. Prime Minister, I was coming from a meeting in Nassau, a microphone was poked in my face 12 o'clock at night. Can I talk to you? I say, no, I'm tired. I'm going home. I'm wondering if, if you do have a, a specific request for these papers. Uh, the man who has them, or at least for representing NBC News, is, is sitting to your immediate left. Perhaps you could ask him. I am not interested in the man. I know how to deal with the man. This but if is access is N, what you're after... This is an NBC responsibility. He just happens to be working for NBC. These... I want these alleged reports uh, supplied to me. I'll, I'll tell you why. The President of the United States has commended myself and my government for the assistance that we have continuously given. Then why hasn't the Justice Department Just one moment, responded? just one moment, let me finish. He's had a whole week on this thing. I've just come for a couple min Fair minutes. Uh, Admiral Murphy has said in an interview that these are all rumors, or an accumulation of rumors on which there is no substantive hard evidence and you can't come to any uh, conclusion on. I spoke to Vice President Bush and we are in continued discussions on how we can better cooperate on the uh, on, on dealing with this matter. Have you spoken through, with, through with the Vice islands. President since oh, the charges were made? Oh, no, 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 not since the charges. Ever since December, have and we tried? have been in correspondence. No, I contacted the President. Why go to the Vice President when I can go direct to, to the President? The newspapers swarmed over the Bahamas. <clears throat> the, the, the Times, I think, did the story Nation for Sale. On special segment tonight, the continuing connection between the Bahamas and drug money, big drug money. The Bahamas are ideally located to serve as a jumping off place for drug shipments coming from Central and South America to the United States. And Brian Ross reports tonight that there is a great deal of evidence that big drug money goes right to the top in the Bahamas. When I got invited into the cabinet, uh, we were being blamed for America's appetite for drugs. Now, the Minister of National Security, people like Mr. Roker, will tell you that uh, we were defined as a transshipment point for drugs. We didn't create drugs. We didn't grow drugs at that stage. But because of our, because of being next to the, to the United States that had the largest appetite for drugs, it was very easy for uh, American government officials to say, boy, those drugs came through the Bahamas and very easy for journalists and just people who looked at the situation to say, well, if the Bahamian government had stopped them, we wouldn't have had drugs in New York or Washington or Los Angeles or Chicago. Do you know what a transit state is, man? The Bahamas does not grow drugs. Americans uh, buy it from where it came from. Americans are engaged in transporting it. Americans receive it in the United States. Americans use it in the United States. My little country stretches five, six hundred miles from Florida uh, to Haiti or Cuba. In order to, for our tourism to grow, we've got airstrips right on through those islands. We've got about 25 or 26 government-owned airstrips. Is it possible that Mr. Vesco is just, using just your... Just hold on, ma'am. Just hold on. And uh, there are some private ones. And the, the FBI, the DEA, and any other kind of AU have can't stop them coming into airfields in Florida. You expect my little country, me, with 200-odd thousand people, to be able to do what you can't do in this big country? You all got to be crazy.